In Creo Parametric, you can define the CNC toolpaths for manufacturing your part. You can also create material removal features to simulate how your different sequences will end up affecting your workpiece. Here I am in a manufacturing model. Let me go to the mill tab. If you go to the manufacturing overflow menu, here we have a material removal cut feature. And for the first one, I am going to take a look at the face milling sequence. So I'm going to start out by selecting this surface in the workpiece so that I can view normal to it. I want to see straight on how it's going to end up affecting this part. So let's go back to the overflow menu and then choose material removal cut. And then in the menu manager, it is going to list all the different sequences that I currently have in the model. I'm going to select the first one, the face milling sequence. And then we get the option of either constructing the cut manually or using the automatic option. I like automatic, so I will choose done. And then we get a dialog box for the intersected component. You can choose automatic update, but I just want to see this on the workpiece, so I'm going to select it. There is an auto add button as well, but again, I just want to see the effect of the cut on the workpiece. I'm not going to check out how it might affect the fixture, but you might need that later on. But and so let's go ahead and click the OK button. And so there we see how it trims down to the surface. And now let's look at it at a bit of an angle. And if you take a look in the model tree, the material removal feature was automatically reordered after the NC sequence that it affects. Let's take a look at another one. Let's go to manufacturing geometry, material removal cut. Now let's do for a volume milling sequence. And I added this in order to take care of some of the stock material that was left before creating my profile milling. And so let me choose again the workpiece and then click the OK button. And so there it is narrowed down and it got reordered. And then let's go to create a third one for the profile milling sequence. And once again, I'll use the automatic option and then select the workpiece as the part that I want to affect then click the OK button. And so now we're getting a pretty good sense of what is left in the model so far. Be aware that I have a roughing and re-roughing sequence uh, following. And unfortunately, there are a few kinds of sequences that are currently not supported by material removal features. And those include roughing, re-roughing, trajectory, and thread milling. So for the last two, if I want to see what's going to happen, well, let me select those two features using the control key. And then here we have from the drop down list where we can play the path. And we can also do a material removal simulation using NC check. So I will go to that. All the calculations are finished. And now you can see the workpiece with the effect of the material removal features. Let me change the precision. Yes, it's going to recalculate. I'm going to say OK. Let's give it a few seconds. And now I can play the simulation. And because this is going to do two sequences at once, I'm going to crank up the speed and then hit the play button. And so there you can see how it is machining during the roughing sequence. Let's let this continue. Actually, let me turn off the display of the toolpath just because it is getting in the way. I like to see inside of the part. And now we are getting the re-roughing sequence, how it touches it up some more. So there we can go and we can inspect inside and we can take a look. And so that's how we can use our material removal features in conjunction with our material removal simulation.